going to tell you Anderson's story called The Flax. It was a day exactly like today. I mean, exactly. It had rained the night before, and so the flax, which is a little flower, was very, very happy. I mean, the flax was blooming because it had drunk just the right amount of water, and then the sun was shining on it. You must know that children and flowers thrive on good care. The flax said, because in Anderson's stories, everything can speak because everything has a life. You understand that, Dorothy? Yes. The flax said, Oh! What a beautiful day! And how fortunate I am to be in this world! I'm blue, I'm happy, I'm refreshed, and the sun is shining. And the old fence, which was listening, said, Hey, take it easy. Get a grip on things. What are you thinking about? Happy, happy, schmappy, happy. <laughs> you have no memory. You're just beginning. You don't know about the stuff to come. I got the knots inside me, so I know what's going to come. Relax. You know something? Listen to my song, and you'll know everything you need to know. And the old fence started to sing this song. It was a kind of doleful song, which went like this. Break and snap, crack and bend. All songs must end. No, 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 said the flax. All songs don't end. What are you talking about? Look at this day. Can't you hear the birds singing? What are you imagining? It's lovely to be me. And I feel I'm going to be something important. I just do. I'm a flower now. But I think I'm going to become the finest quality linen, which is called flax. That's what I think is in store for me. I'm not sure. And just then, an old farmer passed by and pulled up the flax from the ground. Oh, 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 that hurt. And took the flax and threw it in a bucket of water. <laughs> The flax almost drowned. But then he grabbed it and put it by a fire so it would dry out. Do you know what the flax said? Suffering ennobles the soul. I have just suffered. So I know something is in store for me that will be very, very good. I'm very fortunate and I'm very happy. I really am happy. But the suffering. That was just the beginning of it. Let me tell you what happened next to this poor flax. It was lying there, and someone picked it up and started to smack it and beat it and kick it and toss it and then grabbed it up and put it around a spinning wheel and it went faster, 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 faster. And he called out, I'm suffering, I'm suffering, I'm suffering, I'm suffering, I'm suffering. Faster, 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 faster. And then they put it on a loom and laid it out, and it was the most beautiful linen. Oh, it was just lovely. And the flax said, <laughs> What did I say? I told you I was fortunate, and look at me now. That stupid fence. Do you remember the song that stupid fence sang? about snapping and bending and the song ending? Not true. My song is beginning. I am beginning. My whole life is beginning, and it's very, very exciting. I don't know if you're as excited as I am, but I am really excited, I can tell you that, because I really don't know what I'm going to be. I, you know, the minister's wife said, I'm the loveliest flax in the parish. I hope the others don't get jealous of me. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling very wonderful. I'd like you to know that. I mean, I'm very fortunate because I think I'm going to be something very special. Just then, a great pair, well not that big, that big, of scissors appeared. The scissors started to cut that flax. Oh! Oh! Oh, it hurt. Oh. 
and the scissors cut and cut and cut and cut and cut and then when it was all cut out a needle came and began to sew and stitch and sew and st ooh, 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 suffering 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 oh oh suffering oh, oh and then it was all over can you imagine what the flax became i don't know if you can i'm going to give you a hint you see it's something that everybody wears, but no one talks about. Every, would you know? Oh, you said it. Oh, oh. She's probably the little girl in the Empress new clothes. I'm sure of it. Oh, oh, definitely. It was underwear. Twelve pairs. And do you know what the flax said? I'm so useful. I feel so amused. I feel so happy to be so useful because that's what I really wanted in my life is to be useful. And, and, and now I'm useful. And that's a very wonderful thing. Thank you so much, Jean. Oh, oh, oh. It feels good. I'm fortunate. But when you wear some... underwear and they cut it into little pieces. Ooh, 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 I'm suffering, 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 I'm suffering. They cut it into pieces. Then they boiled it in hot water. They stretched it and it became the finest white paper. Excellent, excellent, said the flax. I didn't know that I would be white paper and I don't even know who is going to write on me. What do you think wrote on this paper? He ever did wrote a story so extraordinary that when people read the story, they became happy and sad at the same time and more intelligent. And the flag said, do you think you could have imagined? Do you think I could have imagined? When I was a little flax in the fields, just a tiny little flax, that I would be the messenger of happiness and knowledge? Who knows what one could become? Oh, life is so good. Life is so wonderful. I am so, I don't know what will happen to me next, and I'll tell you. He went on a journey right to the printers. The story was such a success, then rather than pass around the paper to every single person, they put it in a book. That was very sensible. Then it could travel hundreds of miles and hundreds of people could read it. And they read the story. And then they took that paper and put it on the bookshelf. And the flax said, now I'm a grandpa. Because I'm just the original and I stay at home. And my little books go traveling all around the world. And I have a moment to contemplate who I am, which is very, very important, you know, to know what's inside. And this is my moment for that, contemplating. And I feel wiser already. I recommend it. All that suffering. Now, who am I? Well, the time did go by. It does happen. And one day, they decided, the people in the house, the grown-ups, to take all the paper in the house, all of it, even that wonderful story, and make a fire. And so they took all the paper, and the children were gathered to watch because it was cold, and they wanted to warm themselves by the fire, and they threw it into the fire, and lit the fire, and whoosh! Wow! The flax became taller than it had ever become, and those black letters became fiery red just for a moment. And then, ashes. And the ashes spilled out of the fireplace, and the children ran about in the ashes and started to sing that song. You remember that horrible song that children do sing sometimes? Break and snap, crack and bend, the song must end. No, 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 no. To the 
splashes on the bottom of the children's feet. A song doesn't end. No, my song is going on and on and on. I just don't know what will happen next. Do you? Hans Christian Andersen left it to you to imagine what happened to the song of the ashes.